Let's finish the problems on page 13. We want to find the Z values, the Z scores, where 68.26% of the observations appear to fall between. So we want this area, or we're given this area, and we want to find these Z, Z scores or Z scores. Remembering that Z, the big or capital Z represents always the curve. Okay? So the curve, the area under the curve between these two values that are symmetrically apart. So once we find one, we'll know the value of the other one. So what do we know? We know that this area in here is 68.26. That's pretty much useless to us given uh, the tables in that uh, as that number, a single number. We can use it, however, to create or to determine what the left side is here. If we know what this is, then we can perform the backwards operations looking inside and out to get our z-score. To get this, what we'll have to do is take the entire curves area, 1, minus this in-between part, and that would give parts. But I, want, I don't want both, I just want a single one. So I will divide by 2, and I will find this area underneath the curve to the left of negative z. Doing the math, that area is 0.1587. Looking in inside and out, from inside the table to the margins where you find the negative z. And when you do that, you see that the negative z is negative 1. If the negative z is negative 1, then the positive z must be positive 1. Where the question was find z, our answer is 1. Let's do the next problem. Now this problem, the statement of the, the z-score is the reverse. I want to find the z-score so that the area to the right of the curve, remember when we see big Z, we say the curve, the area to the right of the, of, um, the z-score under the curve is a small number. Now where would I be, have to be on this number line to have a small number to the right? That should be over here, right? So, here we have area to the right is 0 0.0026 so what is the z-score so that's the case that's what we want to find out but the tables only give us the area to the left so how do we do this if I was to look up this number my answer would end up being it would end up being the wrong answer but somehow we could get the right answer from it, and I'll, I'll suggest why after we do um, answer the question using the left side. For the left side, I would have to compute 1 minus 0 0.0026, and this gives me 0.9974, and so that's the number that we look up inside the table on the positive table because our answer is going to be a positive z. When we look it up inside the table we get the answer 2.79. The answer is 2.79.
But wait, some of you say that the answer is 2.8. How is that possible? Well, when you look at the table, there actually are two answers for the area inside the curve 0.9974. And this happens because of the rounding that all the numbers inside the, uh, inside the table are rounded to four decimal places and this forces some of the answers to be the same. So what is our answer? Is it 2.79 or 2.80? Since we don't have any additional information about what the numbers are to five or six decimal places, um, for the probability, what we should just assume is that e either one is just as good, but just one of them isn't the right answer. The best answer would be the average between them. So my final answer will be z equals 2.795. And back to the original question, what if I just looked up 0 0.0026 in the tables? What would I have gotten? In the tables, if you look inside and out, inside for 0 0.0026, you would have gotten the answers negative 2.79 and negative 2.80, and you would have finalized the answer as negative 2.795. However, incorrectly, you would have been wrong because there is no negative. You would have gotten the wrong answer because clearly the z is a positive numbers. But if you see between them, all it is is the negative. But remember, that's because of the symmetry. A misunderstanding that you made was thinking that this area 0 0.0026 was to the left of the curve and in fact it's to the right of the curve. So um, if you make the drawing, you would catch that. You would have made a mistake here. And remember the symmetry of the of the distribution and just changed it to a positive. That could have been done as well. What about question, what percentile is this? Sorry for the the uh, clutter up here. But what what is the, the percentile? What's the blank? It would be in fact from here the 0.26 percentile. That's what it would be. I mean to say the top 0.26 percentile because this is in the top 0.26. Better to say it is the 99.74th percentile. Remember percentiles are to the left. So the answer is this is the point uh, this is the 99.74th percentile. And that is because 99.74% of the observations are on the left of 2.795.